handle crochet skills in today's video I'm going to show you uh, how to crochet a feeder cover so we will start with the magic cycle it chain 15 slip stitch chain 3 2 double crochets into each stitch again slip stitch chain 3 2 double crochets in a stitch and 1 into the next 2 in a stitch and 1 into the next make a slip stitch chain 3 work 1 double crochet into every stitch chain 3 and work in back loops of each stitch so now I will show you how to do the next round before making a slip stitch of this round what I am going to do is insert the hook into this top of the chain 3 insert the hook into this slip knot of the other yarn and pull it through the loop. This is how I will attach the yarn. Now I will make chain 3 insert the hook into the second chain pull up a loop, insert the hook into the third chain pull up a loop, insert the hook into the base of this first double crochet, pull up a loop insert the hook into the second double crochet pull up a loop you have five loops on the hook pull it through all the loops together chain one first start stitch is completed for the next pull insert the hook into this eye pull up a loop insert the hook into the base of this stitch pull up a loop insert the hook into the next stitch pull up a loop insert the hook into the next stitch pull up a loop you have five loops on the hook pull it through all the loops together chain one go into this eye pull up a loop go into the base of this last stitch pull up a loop go into the next stitch pull up a loop go into the next stitch pull up a loop we have five loops on the hook pull it through all the loops together chain one as you can see it's very neat and clean it looks very nice stitch just go into the stitch pull up a loop go into this stitch where I worked the last star stitch three loops on the hook one more to go and one more keep it in mind that you have five loops on the hook chain one go into the eye of the star pull up a loop go into this base of the double crochet pull up a loop go into the next two double crochets so we have five loops on the hook pull it through all the loops together chain one this is how it will look so I will meet you at the end and then tell you what to do in the next round I have completed the row just two stitches are left my last star stitch would be just go into the eye go into the base go into the next two stitches I have five loops on the hook pull it through all the loops together chain one now as you can see my round is completed make a slip stitch in this first chain where I've started the star stitch ok next round begins with chain 3 and turn yarn over go into this eye just look the other side this is the eye and work double crochet one more double crochet jump into the next eye of the star stitch work two double crochets just jump into the next one please make sure that you work in I as you can see I'm working two double crochet into this I these holes are the eye of the star stitch keep it in mind that you have to check it because the size of your 
size and the measurement of your piece is very important so as you can see I am absolutely fine with my size now I will tell you at the end of this round that how we will start the next round now make a slip stitch into this first chain ok as you can see chain 3 and turn then I will tell you ok as you can see my first star stitch row is completed now I will show you what to do next chain 3 I will go into the second chain from the hook pull up a loop insert the hook into the third chain from the hook three loops on the hook insert the hook into this stitch where I've made this slip stitch work carefully please and insert the hook into the next two stitches as you can see how I'm working I have five loops sorry I have one two three four and five I have 5 loops on the hook and just pull it through all the loops chain 1 this is the first star and again the next star will be started with this I pull up a loop insert the hook into the base pull up a loop insert the hook into the next two stitches so we have total 5 st uh, loops on the hook chain 1 we will continue till the end of the row 4 and 5 we will repeat the last two lines again and again until we check it, check it out and then I will tell you how many rows are needed my second row is completed now we will complete this star stitch with round 4 just chain 2 and work into the opposite side go into the first eye which is here yarn over go into the eye and work two double crochets work into the eye and work two double crochets this is how two rows of star stitches would be completed I will do few more rounds to reach till here and then I will tell you what to do next ok as you can see now I am done with six rows of uh, star stitches as you can see my measurement is perfectly alright and now I will show you what to do the next so uh, the measurement is very important please try to do it nicely ok now for a draw string what we will do is we will just make a popcorn stitch we will start with the popcorn stitch and then chain 100 ok and now what I am going to do is just chain 3 into this fourth stitch work 6 double crochets 3 4 5 6 insert the hook into the first double crochet and just chain 1 and then ok my string is completed and now I will weave it around these stitches ok I have completed this and I will weave it like this so I hope you have liked my video we will just make it a little tight and make a bow please subscribe my channel and like my video if you have any query or trouble to follow my pattern please ask me in comments thank you for watching